girl i don't know about you but i feel like 2024 is gonna be a year and i know you said last year was your year but i feel like something special is gonna happen in 2024 i know there's been a lot of content on youtube tiktok and instagram on how to reinvent yourself but i feel like digging so much deeper than that and i wanted to dedicate this video to you to all my girls out there who are absolutely ready to go up and reinvent themselves in 2024 i'm gonna give you the best resources the best advice listen we're not gonna wait until january 1st we're gonna start preparing now two to three weeks before the start of the year so we can already walk into the new year our dream self so let's get started on reinventing ourselves for 2024 hi my name is anaya and i want to give you the very best tips to becoming your best self this upcoming year and if you like content like this don't forget to like comment and subscribe and make sure you comment down below how or what tips you're going to implement to becoming your best self in 2024 now the first tip that i have for you guys is actually journaling and this is one of my favorite favorite tips i know everyone talks about it and it's so cliche but i literally think it's one of the best tips in order to get to know yourself and unpack all the past stuff that you've dealt with just to reflect like to get to know yourself spend time with yourself know what you like talk to yourself there's a lot of prompts on pinterest and these prompts can vary so one could be about self-care one could be about um, boundaries one could be about like, your inner child like there's a lot of different prompts that you guys can write about and i think it's so helpful i think a big part of reinventing yourself is also getting to know yourself not knowing yourself on the surface but really digging down and the resurface examine and heal from your past trauma and although it may be hard i think it's a really big part of packing that just because if you don't you can't show up as your best self and granted you're not going to be able to figure out everything in one day in order to better yourself every day you have to learn and grow from those experiences instead of suppressing it i really emphasize on focusing on your inner child i find that a lot of trauma that you do face happens from your childhood you go through a lot of things in life so journaling is a great tool to get to know yourself who you are and why like spend time with yourself appreciate who you are and all that you come with and as for appearance because i know y'all love this and i'm going to keep this short and super simple just because i want to get to other things that i think are so important but as for your appearance i want you to pick one thing going into this new year that you want to focus on and this could be a new hairstyle a new hair color maybe you do a big chop your style your shape anything pick one thing and this will definitely boost the way you feel about yourself how does she look how does she dress it is so important to just pick one thing so that you are focusing on showing up as your best self as for me i am focusing on my hair for the girlies that get it y'all know if your hair is not done i just i i don't feel like myself it's like this quote or something i'm sure y'all know like if your hair is not done throw it away a major self-care tip that i have caring for yourself as you would if you were younger does that make sense so think about you like get a picture or something think about you as a child five-year-old you nine-year-old you think about her all of the energy you put into other people put that into her for me when i think about oh like i'm treating myself to a nice nail date for my younger self that helps me just want to love and appreciate myself so much more because i'm like a child it's like younger me how could i not it's a really good way to also start accepting yourself and loving yourself to be able to reinvent yourself because as anyone typically would when you're thinking about a younger child you want to be so gentle so nurturing so sweet so caring so it's easy to give yourself that when you see yourself as that nine-year-old girl that five-year-old girl whatever the case may be and so to take care of her to love her to do things with her to spend time with her give her that care that loving energy and nurturing that she needs what would make her happy a shopping day a nail day even just like watching tv watching a movie something really small it doesn't have to be big you'll begin to respect her and this brings me into my another tip which is figuring out your boundaries boundaries is the word of the year you gotta treat yourself the way you want other people to treat you in order to make your standards list in order to set your boundaries you have to form them yourself setting boundaries is easy you have an idea of what you want your life to look like but setting boundaries is so important because you want people to honor who you are and respect the person that you are you want to always make maintain your self-respect in every instance when you want people to treat you a certain way you have to treat yourself a certain way for example if you want someone else to be a reliable told them to show up at a certain time you do not want them to be late are you late do you show up for yourself if you say you're gonna get up at eight o'clock in the morning and you're gonna go to the gym but you didn't do that you were late can't really expect somebody else to do it you don't even do it for yourself you know what i mean so setting boundaries with yourself that in turn helps you set boundaries with other people boundaries is something that will come so easily when once you start to set them with yourself because it's a level of respect that you have within it's a level of love that you have for yourself so it's a no-brainer that you would expect someone else to do it for yourself but it's unfair
unfair and not realistic to expect someone to do, do things for you that you don't even do for yourself. Next, I have a new hobby or a new skill, and this is so crucial to reinventing yourself. I feel like this is a great way to add on your list of things that you like to do. And I'm gonna give you guys a few examples because I know it's kind of hard to figure out like what will I do next. First, I have flower arrangements, and I've been seeing this all over TikTok. I'm so into this in like September ish. You can start by going to Trader Joe's. Some of these TikTok girlies are so impressive with what they do like i'm actually inspired or even investing in plants to be able to call something your own and to take care of it but also really learning about plants maybe gardening you can also paint you guys can do paint and sips and these are actually one of my favorite activities it is so therapeutic especially if you have a group of people to do it with you also workout classes and i know a lot of you guys don't like working out working out can be super tough but i feel like if you do something with your friends like pilates it's a great way to kind of bond meet new people start to do hobbies that feel like you so you can meet people similar to who you are and i enjoy them so much i just like getting ready in my cute outfits you know doing something that's not too strenuous on my body but also being able to have fun trying something new and this could be also like a free class i know at my school they do a lot of like yoga classes and stuff like that so cooking or baking i talked about this in my last video if you don't know how to cook you need to learn how to cook so matter of fact that's not even an option for you you're gonna learn how to cook okay there's also a lot of like satisfactory that comes from cooking or baking like once you finish you're like wow like i did that i made that meal it's so good like posting pictures of it like you know invest in a new hobby a new skill if you don't want to just be some bump on the log not knowing what you like to do in your free time so meeting people knowing what you like knowing what you don't like i think it's great and beneficial getting to know who you are embracing who you are and reinventing yourself for the next year this also brings me to my next tip which is networking be around people who motivate you and inspire you through the things that you like to do and that you can sort of bond with on the same activities having a friend you kind of look up to or she looks up to you you guys can motivate how each other to be the person that you want to be as long as you guys are on the same journey of getting better and wanting to both reinvent yourself no problem networking doesn't always have to mean business but exchange of information big goal of mine is actually not to be complacent and to branch out get to know new people to get to learn new experiences and be able to bond with people who share the same interests as me for me a number one motivator for me to do better not that you're competing with your friends but it's just like oh look, she's pushing me to do better if you have a circle of friends and everyone studying and staying on top of your schoolwork going to the gym you're gonna feel weird if you're just sleeping in a bed all day no i love to be around people who inspire me and motivate me to be a better me top tier tip now i know going into the new year you guys have a lot of goals a lot of desire the tip that i have for you guys that i think is a deal breaker in this whole reinvention should have been the first one to really talk to god about your desires first because one thing i know about the lord is you can try to make plans but god laughs at them i like to base my life off of his will his purpose and what he desires for me so all of my desires that i do have all of my goals all the person that i want to be i just make sure it aligns with him and his word and i like to run it by god first remember in all of this that our god is not a god of confusion and i often have to remind myself of that he's not a god of fear of overbearing anxiety so anything that you desire that you feel like is like a lot of pressure and you just feel so unsettled with it or it's just too much and maybe that's really not for you and that's not something that aligns with the will of god if you're anything like me you have a lot of plans a lot of ideas but what i like to do or what i suggest for you is going back to my journaling tip make sure you write everything down journaling doesn't have to be for prompts it can be just your thoughts write everything down examine what you want and why the why is very important i did this the other day and i figured that a lot of the stuff that i wanted wasn't even something that was of self substance of that makes sense but just make sure that the things that you want have purpose to it they have meaning to it they have genuine good intentions behind it for me going forward and as for you i think it's really important to talk to god so you just don't waste your time planning things or i'm doing things that i feel like i haven't even talked to god first it's very unsettling yes i do have goals yes i do have desires and yes i do want some of them to come true but at the end of the day my god knows best and i don't want to make plans and be so fixated on plans that wasn't even in my purpose i know this is all over the place but i hope you guys are picking up what i'm putting down but the next one i have is becoming the observer examine your life sit back kill a little bit and this all goes back i feel like to everything i've been saying what triggers you why what makes you sad 
and why what gives you anxiety observe yourself figure out how you can limit those negative emotions not stop because everything's a process but at least limit and how you can be better in the future a lot of this also comes from therapy i totally recommend i think it's one of the best things you can ever do for yourself and it's an ongoing process so like i said don't expect to be better tomorrow that's not it but as long as you're taking the time to focus on you to become the observer of your own life girl and if you can't afford therapy that's totally okay and that's why i recommend journaling the next tip i have is spending time alone i know with the new year everyone's super excited and they just want to like turn up but i think it's really important to sit down with yourself gain clarity for yourself to be able to hear god's voice very clearly it's important that by spending time alone with yourself you can unpack those things if you run away it's gonna chase you it's gonna be reflected somewhere else it's gonna show up again in 2024 and you want to defeat those things before it even gets started again keep yourself in a routine this is so helpful for me every day i like to make a to-do list and they don't have to be these extensive long to-do lists but what i do like to do is add maybe three things three things that i like to get done three things that i want to put on my schedule and this changed my life it's important to keep yourself in a routine and give yourself things to do for the day to keep you in a daily habit and a daily practice. Even if you create a morning routine and that morning routine is skincare, brushing teeth, eating breakfast, simple. As long as you're creating a routine that you can stick to, setting small goals that you can later master and add on in the future. Self-care means investing in yourself and this time I don't mean with physical items but I mean time, I mean energy, spending time with yourself, getting to know yourself. I feel like I've been saying this all video investing is time and time is energy the more energy you give to yourself the more you begin to love yourself i know it's easy to get caught up in school and other people and worrying about what they're doing and fixating your thoughts and everything on another person when you throw that energy all back on yourself you begin to appreciate love and accept yourself for who you are to be able to reinvent the person that you want to be at first it may be a little awkward if you're used to just being around a lot of people if you always want to be around your friends if you always feel like you have to fill that time with something else Else, the more that you practice solitude it starts to become a treat for yourself and i really hope you guys enjoyed this guide to reinventing yourself and i hope this honestly brings you a lot more clarity a little bit more focus on what you need to do to be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be this upcoming year and i'm really excited for you guys i hope you guys were able to learn something from this video and most importantly like you understand how important it is to just do the inner work before you even focus on the outer work i know i gave some tips of your your outer appearance but again just being able to acknowledge that inner self is the most important part of yourself I want you guys to have the best year ever so definitely let me know your goals down in the comments and how you are going to reinvent yourself for the next year thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video bye